All right, so today we're going to be leveling tailoring from 1 to 375. This is going to be for the Burning Crusade, and I'm going to walk you through step by step. This isn't going to be a guide where I just throw some random numbers at you. You're going to watch me literally level from 1 to 375. I've sped this up, so it's not going to take forever to do, but you're going to see exactly how it gets done, and this is going to be a guide that will get you there. It's a cheap way to get there. It's the best way to get there, and it's how I personally am going to do it again when classic burning crusade comes out all right this is the text guide that i'm following there's going to be a link to this guide in the description but yeah let's get right into it first thing we're going to do is make bolts of linen cloth we need a lot of bolts of linen cloth so we're just going to let that run us all the way to level 50 where it turns gray and we can't do it anymore yeah so this first part is pretty cheap and easy um just doing the bolts of linen cloth um, after you get level 50, you can start making um, linen bags, which you'll use those to go from 50 to 70. And linen bags are cool if you're doing this when you first level your character because they're actually really useful when you don't have bags. And I was able to sell them at one point for more than the vendors were in trade chat, so you might can make a little money that way if you're creative. But um, yeah, so we'll hit the linen bags, we'll go buy some core thread from the vendor, and then we'll make our linen bags. So once our linen bags are made, we're gonna look into the reinforced linen cape. The next thing that we start making here. Yeah, there we go. Um, this reinforced linen cape. Um, not really a useful piece of gear, but it's definitely something cheap and easy to level off of. And it's orange when we're 70. So we're gonna use that to go to 75. And now we start looking at wool. Um, so from 75 to 105, we're actually going to be making bolts of wool cloth. Uh, we're going to need a lot of these. So we're just going to go ahead and run all the way to 105 where they turn gray, as you can see here. Yeah. So we're going to do these gray woolen shirts. So after the gray woolen shirts, we're going to make uh, double stitch woolen shoulders and we're going to make those from level 110 to 125. So now that we're 125, we're gonna make bolts of silk cloth and we're gonna need lots of bolts of silk cloth to continue on. So I'm gonna go grab some silk cloth and I'll be right back. All right, so now we got silk cloth. We've learned all the things we can make with silk cloth and we're just gonna make one, uh, we're gonna make bolts of silk cloth from level 125 to 145. All right, so now that we've got to 145 and we've made all the bolts of silk cloth we can make to level on, we're gonna make azure silk hoods. So we're going to make these from 145 to 160. Now that we've made our Azure Silk Hoods and we're level 160, we're going to make some silk headbands. The silk headbands are going to take us from 160 to 170. Um, and we're, we're going to make quite a few of these. We're going to make 10. So once we get these 10 made, we're going to be at 170. And we're going to be making formal white shirts. These will take us to 175 where we can learn bolts of mage weave. Should just take a couple of these and we'll be there. All right, so after we've made the bolts of mage weave, we're gonna start working on the crimson silk vest. Um, not a very impressive piece of gear that you're actually going to use, but it is the cheapest thing to get from 185 to 200. 200 is a pretty cool milestone as well. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and make these and come back when we hit level 200. All right, now that we're level 200, we are gonna switch to making the pantaloons and we'll also pick up uh, tailoring. Make sure to unlock your tailoring because if you get capped out, you can actually spend money and not continue leveling and that's really not good. All right, so the crimson pantaloons will take us from 200 to 215 and then we're gonna start making black mage weave gear. So let's just make these pantaloons and then I'll get back to you once I hit 215. All right, so after hitting 215, we're gonna start making black mage weave vests. And these are cool because they can actually be useful if you're still doing this during the leveling process. Although mage weave cloth gets really expensive. So this gets to the part where I'm usually higher level than the gear that I'm making. Um, but if you did just go farm mage weave cloth and you're still in it, they can be a useful piece of gear. And the vest is gonna take us to 220. And then once we hit 220, we're gonna make black mage weave gloves. And then once we hit um, 230, we're gonna make black mage weave headbands. So we've hit 230 and we're gonna start making those headbands. So something cool you can do here 
is uh, this is actually the level where you can start making mage weave bags and mage weave bags are 12 slot bags so this could be a chance where you can help some of your friends out you can make some bags um, you it's orange so you'll get levels from that too so that's an alternative to the mage weave headband so I just wanted to include that just as kind of uh, something that can be helpful here so after we make these um, black mage weave headbands we're gonna be in rune cloth territory so that's where things get kind of interesting yeah we're 250 now all right rune cloth time we can go farm some rune cloth in uh, Western Plagueland um, the Dreamweave circlet is actually a good circlet it's just pretty expensive to make but that is something kind of interesting but yeah bolts of rune cloth we're gonna make a good bit of these because we're gonna make rune cloth belts bags and gloves almost there almost to 300 all right so we're gonna go from 250 to 260 on bolts of rune cloth um, at 260 they go gray and we, at that point, we're just going to start making them as we need them because rune cloth can be kind of expensive. Um, if you don't have the money, I definitely recommend Western Plagueland to farm them off of the um, ghouls in the graveyards. All right, at 260, we're going to transition into rune cloth belts, and we're going to make those until we get to 275. At 275, we're going to actually make rune cloth bags, but the rune cloth bag you don't learn from a vendor you have to actually go um, buy the recipe for the rune cloth bag and the recipe is in winter spring i'm about to show um me going and buying the recipe which is really handy because it took me a minute to find the vendor all right um it's qia quia yeah um and this is in uh winter spring in everlook all right you just talk to her you flip through the pages and towards the back, you're gonna find uh, both the pattern for moon cloth and the pattern for the rune cloth bag. I just went ahead and grabbed both while I was here. Now, once you've learned how to make the rune cloth bag, um, we can work on getting to 300. So the rune cloth bag will take us from 275 to 280. And then at that point, we're gonna start making rune cloth gloves. Um, rune cloth gloves will be what take us from 280 to 300. So you're gonna need a lot of rugged leather for this part, but it's the most efficient way to get to 300. Well, congratulations on 300. That's a huge step. All right, so once you hit 300 tailoring, you're gonna come to your master tailor. So if you're Alliance, that'll be Hama in Honor Hold. And if you're Horde, it'll be Delina in Thrallmar. So you're gonna to talk to your master tailor and you're gonna learn the next level of tailoring, which will take you from 300 to 375. You're also gonna learn Bolt of Netherweave because that's what's gonna take you from 300 to 325. So now we're gonna make um, some Bolt of Netherweave to level up from 300 to 325. So now we're gonna to go to the crafting district of Shatrath. And we're gonna to talk to um, Ian here, who sells a bolt of imbued netherweave pattern. Um, he also sells some other patterns here, like the imbued netherweave bag. Um, so we're gonna use this because we're gonna make imbued netherweave bolts until we get to 340. Um, this is also where you have your vendors, like your moon cloth specialist there, your shadow weave cloth. This is where all those vendors are standing as well. But yeah, so we make the bolt of imbued netherweave and that'll take us from 325 to 340 and then we'll and then we'll go from there. So now that you're 340, we're going to head back to our master tailoring trainer in Hellfire and we're going to pick up the pattern for netherweave boots. And netherweave boots are really great because they're super cheap and they'll take us from um, 340 to 350. So we're going to go ahead and make some netherweave boots and we'll get back when we hit level 350. So now that we're 350, we're going to head back to Shatrath, we're going to talk to Ian again, and we're going to buy the recipe for imbued netherweave tunics. Um, you can make the robe or the tunic, they require the same amount of materials. Um, at this point you can make yourself some imbued netherweave bags as well, so that's a nice little upgrade. Um, but yeah, so imbued netherweave tunic, we're going to use that to level from 350 to 360. And then it gets a little more complicated because the vendor that sells the next recipe sells it on a timer and it can be a pain to get this recipe. 
You also have to be scryer to go talk to him. So if you're Aldor, you're gonna have to get someone else to come to uh, Stars or the Sanctum of Stars in Shadow Moon Valley to talk to this guy and buy these two patterns. You only need one of them. You can make the tunic or the robe. They require the same amount of materials. Um, but you're gonna make these from 360 to 375. These are rather expensive to make, but if you do have enchanting, you can disenchant them and that'll help kind of offset the price. But honestly, this is the most expensive leg of tailoring, but you literally just level off of those to 375. So once you've hit this, congratulations on 375 tailoring. Now you can make your spell cloths and you can start working on your sets. All right, so I hope this helped you get 375. Once you get there, you're gonna have to choose your specialization. You can choose Shadow Weave, Spellfire, Mooncloth, and you're just gonna pick the one, like Mooncloth is for mainly like priests and stuff, Spellfire is for fire mages and warlocks, and then Shadow Weave is for frost mages and warlocks. So you'll just pick the uh, specialization that's right for you and do the quest, and then you can start making spell cloth. That about wraps this up. I hope you guys got 375 tailoring and your specialization i appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video um if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing it would really help the channel out i want to make some more videos for different professions and some other uh pre-raid best in slot class videos and stuff like that so thanks a lot for checking it out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye